Watch Retro Game fans, welcome back to the Zeus Stars and Emulator Retro Game channel. And I go by the name of Zeus. And for this Let's Play, I bring you. Wow, well, what is this called? Um, according to my original uh, tape that I'm looking at now, it's got Montezuma's Revenge written all over it. And it's got that written all over the tape as well. However, some people might think this is Preliminary Monty. So, two other names there. It's very, very confusing. Uh, there was also an intro, I think, on a prototype. Um, which a theme that came from it was a, a Mexican tune obviously because I think this was uh, sort of set in it's a very Mexican feel about this game also known as the dating game the tune was on that in America um, but this game also he's known in this game I've got right now but I'm playing we're looking at now he's called Monty whereas in preliminary Monty and the version the prototype he's known as Pedro so it's really confusing and the dates it's been published by many different software houses like Parker, um, also uh, Databyte, which is the version I've got. There's a couple of other names as well. So it's, it's really confusing and this was redone as well on the Spectrum 128, a wonderful conversion of this where it had that theme tune. The game is exactly as it is, as you see in this, but it was called Preliminary Monty. So there, there is a lot of confusion. Anyway, regardless of that, the idea of this game is uh, you have to guide your man, there he is, obviously, through the dungeons to the treasure room. But to do that, you've got to avoid snakes, rolling skulls, uh, crawling spiders, fire pits, um, and you need keys to unlock certain doors. Everything you want in a platform game. It really is, as far as I'm concerned, this is the square root of what a platform game in the 80s should be. It's fantastic, it's so playable, and uh, of course you've got your black backgrounds there, which is all you need. No flashy graphics. It's just wonderful to play, and uh, just an epitome of, of platform gaming. It, you couldn't ask more. If you like skulls, snakes, spiders, and stuff like that, and archaeology, Indiana Jones, you name it, you're going to love this game. So let's crack on. There's the first rolling skull, as you can see. And this came out on the Spectrum in 1984, Montezuma's Revenge, and it was fucking terrible. Awful. Really is bad. But, um, got to judge them jumps right. And, uh, did 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 Um, it came out on the Spectrum 94. It was bloody awful. Uh, but a few years ago, they, um, somebody did the class conversion of this and uh, came out as preliminary Monty and it is a wonderful conversion if I ever lose my Atari 800 uh, for some whatever reason that's the version I would play it's just wonderful right it's so playable really is wonderful jump them be careful of them over there through this door you collect that hammer thing and then they become invincible. They can't hurt you. We here we go. Let's go up first. I can't remember what's down here. But the idea obviously we want to get oh there's a key. Yes, thank you. I do nicely. But you couldn't ask for a better platform game. Now the the uh, the, the um, sword that you just saw me pick up is uh, protects you against skulls. You jump into a skull with one of them, and it, and it just kills them. And there's a spider. It's got everything I like: skull, uh, spiders, snakes, skulls. Fantastic game. Now, if I remember right, there's doors. Yes, there is. You need more keys, so I've got to go this way. I don't know if this game ever ends. I don't think it's got an ending. Right. Come on. Oh, I can't collect that. Right, that's... Right, that's you out of the way. Tricky bit, this. Got to be perfectly right. Whoa! Oh. Uh, there we go. Is 
yeah so it was it was very odd how um it had so many it had different names different publishers different year release dates very confusing and many of you are saying no this is preliminary monty well according to my cassette which i'm looking at right now it's montezuma's revenge so it could be an endless argument. Right, now I've got the key to get through this door to get into the lower dungeons. There you go. Jump straight on that rope. Lovely. Right. Now, the further down you go, you'll need a torch. Otherwise, everything's pitch black. Without that torch, it can be very difficult. Okay, further down in the dungeons now, I've got a feeling. Ooh, see, look at this. <laughs> Skulls on the move. Okay, um, jump. We straight out. Let's go up. Let's see what's along here. More keys. Can never be short of keys. Ooh. Now, I don't usually go this way. It's along here. And I'm, oh, nasty. There's a red key there as well. Right, now we go into the dark zones. There's nothing there. Got to go that way. Very dangerous. This is nasty. Yeah, you've got to keep your eye on the black bits. Otherwise, you've had it. I don't think I've got enough keys. Oh, yes, oh, that was a good job I collected those two silver keys. Ah, well, I've done a quick way around this time. That's the um, gold key. You need that. dangerous this is this is the worst part you've got to time this perfectly no oh, see you've got to time it perfectly never mind I'm in the treasure room now gold key straight in and there we go treasure room I love this uh, part of the game. There you go, that's dungeon one done. Now we're down to dungeon two. So things get a little bit harder now. Things get a little bit quicker. And there's more of the dungeon open as well. You'll see that in a minute. Um, let's go through some of these doors. Right. Yeah, see at the bottom there there's a ladder. That wasn't there on level one. So some of the dungeons oh they're a bit fast, aren't they? It's starting to open up a bit now. Down here. Whoa, let's get past you. Ooh, shit. Open that 
door, we get another blue key, there's one up there. Yeah, the 128K version of this, Spectrum version, was fucking blinding. It really was a classic, uh, spot on conversion. Totally beautiful conversion. I have the sword. Holy shit. Okay, I don't like the idea of this. I could be in a trap. Yeah, no. Can I get down the ladder? Oh, yes, I've got down the ladder. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna die. Oh. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh, nicely tight. Oh my god, look at all that lot. Can have some of them. Can't get out that way. Another ladder? No, there's no ladder. There's nothing there. Okay, well actually I'll grab one of these, because those things are useful. In fact, I'll grab three of them. Get rid of these bloody spiders, thank you. What's up here then? I come down this way. Yeah, I did come down this way, didn't I? Uh, I can't. Yeah, that's right. I've got to go this way. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Ooh! <laughs> oh, oh I, fell. I forgot I had that. Hmm. Where do I go? Holy shit. Oh, no way! <laughs> oh. Jump! Oh. <laughs> this time. I'm determined to do it this time. Oh, <laughs> well, I've killed him now. That's a shame. I was up for the challenge. <laughs> hmm. So you're about a torch. You don't know where you're going. How do I get out? Shit, I'm stuck. Ugh. Can't go out that way. We'll go back this way. Oh, Jesus. Oh no, the ladder was there. I jumped on that perfectly. There we go. Fuck. Where have I got to go? Do I want to go that way? That's the trouble. If you haven't got a... If you haven't got a torch... Oh, you... What'd you do that for, you knobhead? What the hell did I do that for? I'm not concentrating now. That's why. That's why I did that. I'm not concentrating. Yes, I can go up. Oh, there's a couple of blue. Oh, I've got. A oh, uh, okay. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Fuck that. Well, I've got no choice. I can't go down or up. Bloody hell. That's the trouble. If you haven't got a torch, um, you're gonna get. 
There's no way. Oh, yes, there is. Nice. Shit, there's a torch. Right. Give me some light. Okay. Oh my god, quick, 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 bastard! I thought I could make that. Right, we need some keys, mate. We need some keys. Give me some keys. I've got no lives left. Fucking hell. Um, oh, that was a waste. What did I waste that key for? I'll get a red one then. Okay. Hopefully this time I'll be able to bloody do it. I've got some light. I can see where I'm going. Right, well I've opened the doors. Ooh. Hmm. Do 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 Time has jumped perfectly. No, oh, just a fraction too soon. There's the gold door. That would have got me through to the next treasure room. Complete that, then I would have gone to uh, Dungeon 3. <laughs> what do I think of this game? It's absolutely fucking brilliant. I love it. Um, it's a, an absolute classic. It's the square root of a platform game, what it should be as far as I'm concerned. So my hat's off to Robert Jager for doing that. He designed this game. Um, wonderful game. Another one of the eight reasons, eight main reasons why I have my Atari 800. Um, one of the main games, the one reasons that I've got that machine. You never get enough of this game. And as if I said, if my Atari 800 died one day and I never got another one, which I would because I've, I've got plenty of other games I like to play on it. Um, then I suggest you play Preliminary Monty on the Spectrum 128K. That came out about three, two, three years ago. A wonderful conversion, that. Um, everything exactly the same. Sound effects exactly the same. You couldn't knock it. it. It's spot on the same playability. Perfect conversion. So a brilliant game, this. I change you got to play it. Preliminary Monty, Montezuma's Revenge, whatever you decide to call it. Pretty much the same game. Fantastic Atari game. And a wonderful platform game uh, throughout. It's got everything in it that you'd want in a platform game. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed that Let's Play. Until next time, take care and happy gaming.